welcome back to another Driven episode, episode 3. And before we get into today's pedal, I want to kind of recap on the previous pedal, the Orange Stamp. Now, I like that pedal. Like I said before in the first video, as a standalone quiet clean amp with a boost or distortion from pedals. But I also like it only going through a cabinet. I've tried using that cab or that amp in a practice uh, not too long ago, and we run through a PA system for our practice. And using the cab sim for it did not sound good at all. It it really did not sound good. I was busy fighting with the tone the whole time. It was just like I said before, too much bottom end, too much bass. I couldn't get to brighten up a bit. It was for me it didn't work well in that kind of scenario now if i had a, a cabinet it probably would have worked better because like i tried it here with my cabinet it worked fine it's great with a cabinet but as like the sim out to like a pa or something for me it doesn't work it doesn't sound good but anyway on to the next pedal that we're going to do today which is kind of a popular this will be one of my own pedals not a a, a buyer borrow which again i will have a link in the description not sponsored uh, for buy and borrow, it's good, kind of a good, it's a really good service. It's a good service. I like it. Uh, I gotta actually return the stamp this week so I can get the next pedal in line. It's gonna be fun. Uh, it's a pedal that I've been wanting to try out. That's like really, really, it's one of the big, big, you know, pedals. But with that pedal, with in this pedal that we have today, they're kind of rivals. It's the SD1 Overdrive Boss Overdrive. Now mine is a I bought as a demo buy because you know it's got this big ass plate on it but it still works um i've had this for a little while and what i'm gonna do with it is i'm gonna run it as a standalone drive just like i did the uh the orange burst use it as a standalone drive and put in a few scenarios with other drives to be boosting this one um and then i'm gonna switch it up and use this to boost the amp and use boost other drives like the orange burst that I have. <laughs> Thank you. 
Okay, so this ended up kind of being a two in one deal uh, with with uh, being that I'm kind of comparing your SD1 to a tube screamer, even though it's kind of a knockoff Chinese demon tube screamer, well, rinky dink tube screamer. But uh, anyway, so for me, this did well. Um, it's a good pedal. It's not not down in this pedal at all as a standalone overdrive. For what I play, I usually play in the high gain kind of metalish realm. Uh, as a standalone pedal, obviously this won't cut it. As a boost, it's not bad. It boosts enough. It gives that warmth to the tone. It you know gives you that what you need. Uh, I tend to find that the tube screamer tends to push a little harder. That's why I end up doing both uh, against the amp and against like the orange burst. The to me subject to opinion it's my opinion that the tube screamer pushed a little harder than the, than the overdrive super overdrive so not a bad pedal but to me the tube screamer is a better boost pedal now this can do if it needs for like regular rock stuff regular rock and roll stuff maybe it's a great pedal for your high gain stuff it, it can give you a boost if you're not looking for a lot of boost this will work if you want like a good bit of boost, like a tube screamer or what I use on my board, which I'll leave that for another video. Now I know this is just a knockoff little rinking dink tube screamer. It's got the TS9 and 808 circuits on it or whatnot. So I kind of did both of them. It's not a real tube screamer. Maybe one day I'll get a real tube screamer <laughs> for the for the the uh, series. So. We'll see about that. We'll get we'll try it out when we get the uh, when a, a real tube scraper. But now overall, it's not a bad pedal, not at all. It you know it's very very popular pedal. A lot of people use it. A lot of famous big big wigs have used this pedal. Uh, not knock it all saying it's a bad pedal, but for when you want more boost, there are other options. This can boost, but there are other pedals that can boost harder if you want more boost to your to your to your gain to your high gains but anyway that's a kind of a two-in-one deal super overdrive with the demon two-in-one tube screamer um let me know in comments what you think <laughs> uh was a better better push uh boost pedal maybe you you actually like this as a standalone cool uh just let me know what you think uh like subscribe all that jazz i'm trying to i want to try to build this channel up more now i want to try to do more with the channel i know i'm very random uh last several years with this channel just putting random stuff up i want to try to be more consistent uh with this and i want to try to you know develop a following i guess uh at least in the pedal world <laughs> little lolly look at her she's so cute Hi. she's not the little girl anymore from the pedal video she's a she's a <laughs> moose Yum, yum, yum. Anyway, catch y'all next time.